Hey, you two! Come on over and give me a hand. And watch out crossing the street. Thanks. Or oh, you can put the sofa by the fireplace. No, 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 no. Leave it, leave it for now. Try it by the window. Where have you been? Talking with the man upstairs. You're cold. What have you been doing? Nothing. Robert, go help Jane put your things away. What time's supper? As soon as Dad gets home. Now scoot. says you should help me. Piggy's bossy. I'll be glad when she goes back to school. Then we'll have some old housekeeper again. I got something to tell you. What? I've been talking with the man upstairs. Oh, come on, help me with this. Listen, it's really spooky up there. <laughs> Shh. 
sorry, honey. If I could have gotten the day off, I would have. The worst is over, Danny. Now it's just a case of getting organized. Hey. Not much of a vacation for you, is it? It's fun. I still can't get over what a bargain this place is. Right in the middle of the city. It's ridiculous. You know, your mother would have been very proud of you. Thank you. Well, if you could pick up these groceries on the way home tomorrow. Sure thing. I'm going to bed. Good night, Dad. Good night, honey. Sounds like, like someone chopping wood. Right on. People always chop wood in their apartment in the middle of the night. All right, what does it sound like to you? Someone chopping wood. You go on to bed. I'll, uh, I'll speak to Truthers about it in the morning. He's nice. He's lost him since his wife died. I wonder what happened to her. I don't know. Brr. Wish you weren't so cold out there. We'll wear our coats next time, OK? OK. Come on. Where have you two been? 
Upstairs. Doing what? Nothing. Nothing. Well, don't go up there again, you hear? The man said we could. What man? The man upstairs. Look, this is an old building. It's not safe to wander around in your own, especially up there, you hear? Yes, sir. All right, don't let me catch you up there again. But I want to see the man upstairs again. We will. We'll just have to be careful he doesn't catch us. Where have you two been? With the man upstairs. You're not annoying him, are you? No. He likes us. He said so. You can even ask him yourself. All right. Go and clean up for lunch. I went to introduce myself to your man upstairs. He's nice, isn't he? Look, kids, I know that this is a new neighborhood, and what was tough having to leave your friends behind. But as soon as school starts, you'll make a whole lot of new friends. But he's our friend. OK. I think it's wonderful to have imagination, and even to invent playmates if you want to. Just don't get carried away with it, OK? As soon as you finish your lunch, you can go play in the park. She, you know, she doesn't believe us. What? She doesn't believe about the man upstairs. I don't care. Me neither. We know he's there. Let's ask him to come down and visit. I don't think he'll come. We could ask. OK. Let's go ask him now. Okay. What are you two doing here? Nothing. Who are you talking to in there? The man. To each other.
I warned him, Mr. Carter. I warned him real good not to go messing around in that apartment up there. Well, they haven't done any harm, Mr. Truthers. I understand the apartment's empty. There's loose floorboards, and the ceiling's not quite safe in some places. I don't have the kind of insurance that cover the kids if anything was to happen to them. You know, my daughter and I heard some strange noises coming from there the other night. Must have been mistaken. No. No, we weren't. Well, look, it's an old building. The timbers creak sometimes. It was more than just the building settling. Oh, maybe the radio next door. You, you will speak to the kids, will you? All right. Mr. Truthers, why is the apartment empty? I mean, here in the middle of the city, a place like this is hard to find at a price. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't tell you this, but that apartment's tough to rent. Why? There's something not quite right up there. What do you mean, not quite right? Like, can it be fixed? Something happened up there a few years ago, and it left people a little bit spooked. <laughs> you trying to tell me the place is haunted? I'm not trying to tell you anything. I'm just asking you to keep those kids of yours away from there, huh? Not too well. Could you find some clean bed linen? It's in one of the trunks in the spare room. Yes, thank you. It must have been something I ate. If you don't feel better in the morning, you can stay in bed all day. Okay. Mm. Good night, Dad. Good night, Peg. Good night, Dad. Good night, Peg. Be tight. That was really terrific. Never seen somebody get sick like that before. I didn't like it. I don't think I'll do it again. Did you tell the man upstairs we couldn't come up anymore? Yeah. What'd he say? Said not to worry about old Mr. Treathers anymore. Why not? I don't know. It's all he said.
I thought I was dreaming. No, I heard it too. I heard a scream. Uh, you wait here. Dad, what is it? He must have fallen down the stairs. His neck is broken. He's dead. <sighs> Let's look at it this way. One, where else could we find a place like this? right here in the middle of the city that we could afford. Two, we only just moved in. You want to go through all that business again? Not if I can help it. Three, the, uh, the kids seem OK. I mean, they, they're old enough to understand about an accident. Well, then, it's settled. We stay. Well, that brings us to the next point, the weekend. Are you sure you can cope on your own? Of course I can. Well, it'll just be for a few nights. Dad, I'll be all right. Good. Say, where are the kids, anyway? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Well, kiss them goodbye for me. I will. Will you? Goodbye, Dad. Have a good trip. Bye-bye. sad about his wife getting sick and die like that on the honeymoon. What was wrong with her? I don't know. Some kind of sickness, I guess. When do I want to meet Peggy? He's lonesome because his wife died. But we asked him to come downstairs and he wouldn't. Maybe we can get her to go upstairs. Wanna go upstairs? Upstairs where? You know, upstairs. Why? I thought you'd like to, that's all. You are up to something. No, we're not. Honest. Listen, you know how Dad feels about that upstairs apartment. He doesn't want you going up there, and neither do I. Understood? Yes. He's gonna have to come down. Thank you, Will. He's gonna have to if he wants to see her. Yeah. I'll sneak up before I go to bed tonight and tell him, okay?
What's she doing? She's going upstairs. Once they get to know each other, they'll be friends. To take the place of his other wife? Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, they're being very good. Um, can't you get back tonight? No. No, it's not important. I just thought... Yes. All right. Okay. Well, we'll see you tomorrow. They send their love. Bye-bye. 
got up to get a drink of water last night. Hmm? You weren't in your room. I looked. So? I wondered where you were. Well, I heard noises upstairs. Did you go up? Yes. Did you like them? Who? The man. I don't think I'll ever figure you two out. What do you want to do today? Stay in. What are you going to do? Well, I think I'll wash my hair and make myself look radiantly beautiful. What for? In case my Prince Charming comes to call. He doesn't look like a Prince Charming to me. She didn't mean him. She was joking. I wonder why he's breaking up the closet. sorry for him. If his wife was dead, I wonder why I brought her back here. Because he wanted to be with her forever and ever. Is that why he bricked her up in the closet? I guess so. Yes, that must have been it. Now he wants to be with Peggy for always. He's not going to pick her up in the closet, is he? Of course not. How do you know? Because his wife is dead and Peg's alive. When are you going to do it? What time is it? It's late. I can't hear any cars. I'll do it now. How? You stay here and don't make any noise. Upstairs. Are you sure? That's what she told me. Well, why didn't you stop her? Robert, go back to your room and stay there, understand? Did it work? Yep. Jane?
what you want. Lonesome, that's all. He's putting on that closet! Come on! Peggy! You know the address. Yeah. yeah. 
We'll probably get there ahead of you, show you where to put the stuff. Shouldn't take you long to unload it. No, not this furniture. We're used to it by now. You know, I still can't believe any of this really happened. You saw those old newspaper clippings I dug out of the library. Daddy, it happened. He murdered his wife and then brought her back here and bricked her up in the closet. Yeah, but he was tried, convicted, and executed. All this time, his ghost has been waiting for someone to take her place. If you say so. Thank you. 